jump into emissions. Nicola, um, so this week National sort of got the jump pulling out of the Hewaka Ekonoa agriculture emissions pricing kicked down the road for five years. Pure politics? Yeah, pure politics and more of the same. So we've seen this in successive governments for the last 20 years, right? And, and the sad thing for me, so I live in a small rural community, is all we're doing is letting farmers down, right? So we've got farmers at breaking point. We've got the sixth highest uh, agricultural emissions in the developed world. We've got rivers we can't swim in. And what for? A $20 block of cheese? It's not working. And at some point, the rubber's going to have to have to hit the road for, the, for those farmers. And by delaying it and delaying it and delaying it, we're making it more more expensive, more stressful, and worse for them in the long run. What we need is some courage and some leadership. Right. Uh, so Chris Hipkins there was saying that he doesn't believe that National has any leadership in the climate area. Nathan Guy, what do you, what do you, what's your response to that? Oh, I thought National's emissions policy this week, Simon, was fantastic. It was really well received by farmers, and they were concerned about uh, what's been going on on Hiawaka Ekinoa in terms of bouncing along the bottom. Um, it was all guns blazing when farmers knew and industry leaders knew that we were going into the ETS in 2025. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, now even Labor indicating that's not going to happen uh, because industry have had some real concerns. Where are the tools uh, about pricing? Uh, it's quite hard to change behaviour inside the farm gate. If you can't okay. provide a toolbox with the tools for farmers, that technology hasn't turned up yet. Okay. Um, but but there's no, I, just, I was just going to say, yeah. there's no one denying, well, there probably are a few deniers, <laughs> yeah, but, no. but generally speaking, <laughs> in rural communities, they realise something needs to change. It's about the how. Yeah, OK, so there's obviously disagreement about the how. Uh, Mark Jennings, I mean, do you think that National's just trying to, um, uh, to set itself apart just for the rural vote? Um, yeah, I'm very interested in um, Matthew's views on this. I, I think they are really worried about ACT. Um, they really want to pull some votes back off ACT. Uh, but, you know, 26 years, I think now that we've been talking about agricultural emissions, kicking it down the track another five years, and even then it'll get kicked down the track again probably if National and ACT are, are in place. I, uh, yeah, I, I don't know about the, the tools. Surely the tools are there to do something. Well, that's actually well, one of the problems, though, isn't it, Nathan Guy? Because yeah. there's about 11 different ways that you can actually calculate on-farm emissions. This is one of the problems with Hewaka Ekanoa. Well, one of the problems is, you are right, there's 11 calculators. No one completely understands their emissions. Mm. Everyone's measuring differently through these calculator models. Yep. I think there is quite a bit of room to actually make progress on this. One of those is measuring on-farm emissions, getting okay. a decent calculator underway, just deferring the pricing for a while to give everyone comfort that it can work. But, but, but can, okay, can, we, well, can we just talk you, yeah. about fairness here? Because sure. what we've got is an entire sector of the economy that is refusing to engage in the, the rules that everybody else has to do, which means the taxpayer, in, in effect, is having to prop up the farming industry who have spent the last few years trying to write their own emissions policy, trying to put their own prices in place. In what other industry in the country do we allow that? Is that fair to the rest of New Zealand, to sector off one element of society and say they don't have to play by the rules? I don't think your average New Zealander thinks that. Okay. The, the important thing here is this has been a, par <laughs> this has been a partnership with industry and government. Yeah. So holding hands together. It's been rocky, but the hands are still there and not necessarily together. There's an opportunity, I think, to work more constructively right. together. So, so, so okay, let's just, our last point on this, yes or no, is Hawaka Ekonoa dead? Do you think? Nathan no. Because no, it's not. Yeah, you're still happy I think it was basically dead when it started because oh, right. it's not <laughs> focused on the outcomes. One other thing I would say, though, yep. is half there's research recently to show that half of all farmers in New Zealand don't believe that they should have to contribute to emissions reduction. And the reason for that is 20 years of political oh, okay. all right. confiscation oh, and no. business lobbying. Of okay. course no. it is. I want to move on because we're not going to get anywhere on that one. <laughs> uh,